guys, it's another beautiful day once again and you are here back at Dexter's World Channel. Today, allow me to make an update about our quail farming. In the previous videos, we have mentioned about the importance of producing your layer in a ladderized system. Meaning that you will not produce your layers at one time because you will certainly run short of capital if you don't have much capital and you will also have the problem when the time will come that you have to call them all there will be a time that your production of eggs will become dormant and that was our topic in the previous video and today our topic is how to ensure that your chicks will not die when the moment you are going to transfer these chicks to the brooding cage one of the common mistakes that quail farmer will commit is this stage the transfer of your chicks from the incubator to the brooding cakes. It is very important that if you are going to transfer the new hats of birds, you will maintain the temperature that is inside the incubator. And maybe you will ask, what's the temperature? For us to be able to hatch the eggs inside the incubator, we must be able to provide a temperature amounting to 100 degrees Fahrenheit and this temperature should also be provided in the brooding cage and maybe you will ask Dexter how to provide a 100 degrees Fahrenheit temperature in your brooding cage well for this box that is measured by 7 feet in length and two and a half feet in width and we have this one and a half feet in height I have provided three bulbs that has 100 watts each meaning all in all I have provided them with the 300 watts of this incandescent bulb and you will see that this incandescent bulb are now providing heat for this very beautiful and tiny but delicate chicks and this is very important if we fall short of this temperature maybe you will just provide the 80 degrees Fahrenheit and you are short of the 20 degrees that will cause stamping meaning that this quails will pile up and they will trample upon each other and it will certainly cause their death and you will provide this temperature for a period of five days after five days you can reduce the heat of your brooding cage by means of removing one of the bulbs i mentioned three bulbs so you will remove the one bulb and you will replace that bulb with a lead bulb or lead light which can produce lesser heat and that temperature would drop around 80 or 70 degrees fahrenheit and after five days of enjoying that temperature and then you will change the other two bulbs with the lead light or the lead bulbs and it will produce a lesser temperature now after 15 days you can remove all the lights and you will now transfer your chicks to a layer case well for the newly hatched chicks we will use this baby stack booster and any brand can do i'm not promoting any brand but i'm using the thunderbird and this brand is good for a day old chicks up to five days old and after five days of feeding baby booster we will add 50 percent of the chick starter until the quail will start laying eggs so you will gradually mix this booster with chick starter and my formula is if 100 percent of your layer quails have already started laying eggs then that's the time that you will no longer mix the starter fix and that's what i did and it's very effective since you are providing heat to your chicks they will really need a lot of clean water and that's very important because if you will just miss an hour or two hours without water then you will realize that you can commit the biggest mistake all of them 
might die if they cannot drink water in just a very short period of time. Maybe in one hour, two hours without water, it will really make a difference. That's why we have to make it sure that water will be available 24-7. Meaning that the water is really available every time these chicks will feel thirsty. I have invented a new design of layer cakes that makes us easy to collect all the dunks and to collect the eggs. So this is the case that I've been telling you about and this case is just measured around 4 feet by 3 and you will see that the height of this is just around 1 foot. This can accommodate 180 layers of quail. And maybe you will ask Dexter, what's the purpose of this plywood? Well, this plywood will serve as the protection of our quails at the second layer. And all the dams of the quails that are in this first layer will be gathered around here. Of course, we have to paint this with enamel paint to protect this plywood from getting easily rotten or destroyed and you will use the scraper if there are let's assume that there are so many dunks here we will just scrape this one and we will put a sack over here and gather all the dunks inside the sack it's more easier and it's more convenient for us to maintain the cleanliness of your cage and you will see that this portion will be the place for our waterer so all the quails will drink their water here and then they will eat their feeds here. So the water will be placed here and the feeds will be placed right here. So we will put some screen over here and uh, we will make a space where they can eat their, their feeds or their food. And they will run over there to drink their water. So if you look at the system, this is very easy yet very effective. In my previous videos, I've said that it's good to maintain just a one layer cage. The reason is for us to easily gather the, the dungs and for us to easily monitor the quails inside the cage. But this system that I have adapted and it proves to be very useful and effective will now solve the problem if you are having a small area at your backyard. So imagine if the quails will lay their eggs, then these eggs, because this is inclined, the eggs will just roll down and stop to this point and you will easily collect and gather all the eggs and the waterer and even the space provided for the feeds will not become dirty because this cover will protect the quails that are in the second layer and so on and so forth so maybe you can use your ladder and you will make a five layer or six layer quail cage to accommodate more than 1,000 quails. So this is the tip that we can share with you. This is very effective and I hope it will help. I hope this will help. And many have said in the comment section, Dexter, can you please do more videos and updates about quail farming? Where can I buy the chicks? Well, I cannot provide the chicks right now, especially in the areas that is really very far from our place. But you try to research about quail farms and if you have source of quail, then you can adapt this method. So guys, that's the thing that we can share. I hope this will help. I hope that you will continue to like and share our videos. We are close to 400,000 subscribers. Maybe tomorrow we can hit the target of 400,000 subscribers. You are part of this channel and we are spreading the knowledge to others who may wanted also to engage in this kind of farming. And if you have questions, please do comment and make some queries. Put all your queries and I will really find time to answer 
that questions. Thanks for watching only here at Dexter's World. There's a head.